welcome to Exploring Photography with Eric. Hey there. So um, today what I wanted to do is take a look at something that every time I'm on Reddit in the post-processing forums, I see people asking, how do you do this? How do you do this? How do you do this? And basically what they want to do is um, emulate one of the uh, VSCO filters that makes photos look um, like film, basically. So I, uh, in exploring photography, I kind of go along and, uh, and explore and, and you kind of learn as I do. Um, so because, um, because things are very busy now with the twins, I did kind of, um, do a little bit of checking before, um, before starting this to make sure I could do it. That's why you see I created a snapshot here that says VSCO like. But I'm going to do it here uh, with you so you can kind of see. So the number one most important thing, the thing that I always say whenever someone asks on Reddit, how do I do this? How do I make my photos look like this? The answer is very simple. The first thing you have to do is crush the blacks. What that means is to make the blacks lighter. And the way you do that is over here, you see uh, in raw therapy, this is your x-axis, this is your y-axis. So you take something here and make it like that. So you want to take dark and make it lighter. So you take this, you move it up a bit. Let me see how that lightens up the blacks. It lightens up the picture overall, but specifically what we're looking at is to crush the blacks. So we come up to, let's start with about right there. Because you also end up with like this haziness, which is also a part of that whole aesthetic. That's the first thing you have to do. Um, and that by itself kind of gives it the look, which is almost a ble bleach by bypass type of look. But that's not enough. Because the other thing they've done is they've messed with the color tones. So you come over here. And you change this to... Shadows, mint tones, highlights. The number one thing that I see on Reddit when people bring examples of how do I make this look like that is that first of all, they've made the shadows more blue. So we're going to do that here. The shadows more blue. Not too blue, but a little more blue. I'll leave that one alone actually. Well, a little bit. A little, just a little, little bit. Okay. Um, and then they make the highlights a little more um, orangish, which you do by doing red and yellow. Um, so you go up to the highlights. Let's see, something like maybe like this. And maybe, let's see here, I want to add some yellow to it to make it an orangish color. Uh, about right there, and then maybe increase this a bit more. There we go. And oops. so there you go. So it's not too hard to get the look. I'm going to create a new one here. Uh, PSCO like um, while streaming. Here's what I came up with before. A little bit darker. Oh, that's right. There's one other thing that I almost forgot. There's a little bit of desaturation that usually takes place. So let's push, pull this back a little bit. Maybe about right there. Maybe there. We seem to have lost a bit in the skin tones there. Maybe, first of all, maybe fix the highlights a bit there. There we go. All right. There we go. So we will get rid of this one. Here we are. So just for example's sake, here's where we started. Oops, no, here's where we started. And here's where we ended up. And so there you go. That's uh, it's not too hard with raw therapy. It's pretty easy. 
And that's something I see every single day, people on Reddit asking, how do I make it look like this? And they give examples that are pretty much just like this. Um, the only other key thing you need to know is that the lighting helps a lot, as well as the um, lens that you use. And uh, those things will contribute to making it look even more professional. So I hope, uh, hope you enjoy that. Hope you learned a bit. Thanks for watching.